Hello lovely people, welcome back to another book chat. Okay, so today um, I want to talk about a book that I actually picked up because I kept seeing all over Instagram in the summer. Um, and of course being me, it's taken me this long to get around to actually reading it. Um, but I kept seeing it mentioned in sort of in, um, in conjunction in relation to um, um, Stephen King's Earth or Dan Simmons' Summer of Night. And not because it was a horror book, but because it was that about childhood and friendship growing up in small town America um, sort of before the time of mobile phones and computers and that sort of thing. Um, which I always find really, really fascinating. And my favourite example of that would be Ray Bradbury's Dandelion Wine. And that's also definitely not a horror. It's this uh, lovely, to me anyway, this lovely combination of magic and real life and, and they're all so carefully interwoven and accepted with it, within each other that you're not quite sure what's real and what's not and dandelion wine is, is fantastic it's beautifully well done um, and for whatever reason I have this kind of fascination of um, small town America childhoods in that kind of era sort of between the 40s and 60s that sort of that sort of stage um, and boys life's right in there so it's in about the 60s there is definitely these sort of mad magical events that keep happening and they just sort of blend with real life growing up. I don't know if it is a little bit autobiographical um, but it's presented that way and um, and yeah it's really well done it's beautifully written. Um, there we go, <laughs> there we go. So Boy's Life by Robert R. McCammon um, and the only other book of his I've read that I can remember was when I was a teenager I think I read Swan Song and I remember that as being a fantastic post-apocalyptic book, like one of the best ones I've read. But I haven't read it since then, so don't quote me on that. <laughs> oh, and, but I might have to look for that one again now. Um, anyway, Boy's Life. So, loosely based around a little bit of a murder mystery, but really it's about one year of growing up in small town America in this one boy's life. And as I say, it's told autobiographically, but there is all the sort of magical stuff that sort of blends in with it as well. It touches on um, various social issues such as race. Um, not, it doesn't go deeply into it, but it's there as the sort of spectre that influences a lot of what's happening in the town. Um, it also touches on progress, which was an area I found really, really interesting because the boy's, um, the boy's dad is a milkman and this supermarket moves into town. And so there's this, this really real sense of transition of changing from a more traditional world to a more modern one as well. And also the sense that progress isn't always good. It doesn't, it's irresistible. But doesn't always go in the direction that you want it to. So that was really well done as well. Um, the magical side of it, obviously for me, that was great fun because I love those. Um, if you are looking for more of a, a straight you know, coming of age tale, uh, that might not work in as well for you, but I thought it really complemented the story. Um, I highlighted a couple of really nice lines here. Um, so this one in the prologue is just lovely. So if I can find it. When I was 12 years old, the world was my magic lantern, and by its green spirit glow I saw the past, the present, and into the future. You probably did too, you just don't recall it. See, this is my opinion. We all start out knowing magic. We are born with whirlwinds, forest fires, and comets inside us. We are born able to sing to birds and read the clouds and see our destiny in grains of sand. But then we get the magic educated right out of our souls. We get it churched out, spanked out, washed out, and combed out. We get put on straight and narrow and told to be responsible, told to act our age, told to grow up for God's sake. And you know why we were told that? Because the people doing the telling were afraid of our wildness and youth, and because the magic we knew made them ashamed and sad of what they'd allowed to wither in themselves. Um, and all through the book it comes back to the sense of um, writers and readers needing to keep that magic alive in themselves, uh, which I thought was beautiful. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Um, so yeah, boy's life. Really good story. Um, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think I need to go and look for some more of Robert R. McCammon's work. Um, so let me know. What books have you come across through recommendations on social media or just seeing them everywhere on social media that you've really enjoyed? What are ones that maybe you haven't enjoyed so much? Um, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on Boy's Life as well if you have read that um, and any other books and, and that sort of coming of age, a little bit of magical genre, whatever you call that. <laughs> okay, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!